Travel tip number 60. This is a good one because we have a special guest. Charlene, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having us. The birthplace of Country Music Museum. Yes. There's how many in the world? Only one, I believe. And it's not in Nashville. And it's not. You know, that's <laughs> right? That's my first question. I love Nashville. I love Memphis Sun Studios and all the history that, that goes on. Have amazing history. Amazing. Yeah. But if you want to know where it all started. If you want to go back to the beginning. Now, and I will say that, you know, WSM Radio and the Grand Ole Opry were happening before the 1927 Bristol Sessions. But the 1927 Bristol Sessions happened here in Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia. And they were recorded by Ralph Peer back in the, that day over two weeks. And they were the first recordings of the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers. And for that reason, and also because that discovery brought country music into the mainstream. Well, I was going to ask you about that because we're talking 1927, right? Mm -hmm. So again, was country music popular back then? It wasn't popular. It was definitely, there were country music recordings happening. Um, Ralph Peer, who produced the country or the Bristol Sessions, had, all, had some success with Pop Stoneman. And it was Pop who urged him to come to Bristol to find the talent here because hillbilly music, as they called it, they marketed it that way back then, those people can afford to go to New York or Atlanta to record. Got it. So he came here with a portable machine that took about four people to carry right. and um, set up in an old hat factory downtown. That's actually where our business office is. We don't have any offices here in the museum, but, um, and the rest is history. Wow, that, it's incredible because again, the influence of country music, we can, going back to the gospel and these Everything. just, I, really it was, it was a culmination of a, of a feeling and of a, and of a period of time, wasn't it? It was, and you know, you can trace roots of rock and roll, you can trace roots, of, uh, definitely bluegrass country music is prevalent, but then you've got the gospel influence. There are Americana uh, artists who were definitely borrowing from this uh, kind of music that we have here. We call it the Bristol Sound. There are a lot of musicians in this area in our music scene who borrow from all of that. And you'll hear strains of it. So it's a lot different than the Nashville Sound, but you know, it's just as awesome and it's just as amazing as it, as it, it was back in the day. And the bottom line is, you just have to come and see it for yourself, you right? You have to come kind of, and see it. You know, we're very interactive here. It's an interactive experience. We have beautiful films that explain all about it. It'll take you from the roots of the 1927 Bristol Sessions all the way to today and how it's still influencing the music and the artists of today. And just like our music festival, Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion, that happens an annually. It's a culmination of all of that. Sounds good to me. I'm glad we're here. I'm thank so you. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thank thanks you. for having us, and we'll see you when you get here.